Hey guys, it's Domestic Chris here with another episode of Mickey Money Monday. In this week's episode, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I found on the YouTube channel, Freedom in a Budget, a really neat tag called the Dumping Debt Tag. This was created by Pandemomium. I will make sure to link both of their channels um, below. And I just thought it was a really neat tag that really kind of goes with Mickey Money Mondays and I wanted to share it with you guys. So not only am I saving for Disney, but of course, I don't know many people, we want to be out of debt. My husband and I have been totally debt free without a mortgage in the past. That is not our current scenario. We'd like to get back to that again. We're making our way there. And what I'm going to share with you guys are five things that I do give up while I'm on a budget and five things that I don't give up while I'm on a budget. And I'll be honest with you guys, it was actually really hard for me to come up with this because part of that freedom within a budget, I think, is finding room for the things that you want to have. And I guess because we've been doing this for a while, like I said, we have been debt free besides a mortgage in the past and we are um, fairly close to that now. Um, it was hard for me to come up with these, but this is what I've come up with. So the number one thing I do give up um, is tanning and fingernails. That was something that when we were earlier on in our marriage, that was a really big deal to me. And it's something that so calls to me still a little bit, especially the tanning part, even though I know it's really bad for you. <laughs> but um, I, I don't do those things. And I don't often get my hair cut or my eyebrows waxed um, or threaded either. I get my hair cut really just once a year. And this year my haircut was free. <laughs> I try to either have a friend or family member cut my hair for little to no cost or every now and then I'll splurge for my birthday and I'll go and get my hair cut. But it's just not something that I do all the time. And my husband, I can convince him usually to only get his hair cut once a month or even sometimes once every two months, but he prefers to go to a fancy um, sports clips haircut shop and spend a bunch of money. And uh, when I try to get him to go somewhere that's less expensive, the haircut doesn't come out as nice. But so anyways, we're mixing that up. I don't spend a lot of money, if any, on um, that kind of personal upkeep. Number two, we finally, thank you Jesus, we ditched our direct TV. That is saving us $100 a month. Um, we were able to do that because finally faster internet came out here and that's helping me to upload videos for you guys faster before my um, satellite internet was super duper slow. So now that AT&T brought faster internet out here, it came just in time that we were able to cancel our direct TV service and that is so exciting for us because that was a huge fee, $100 a month. Too much, too much money. Okay, so the number three thing that I give up is daily coffee out. I make my coffee or tea at home most of the time, and I do not stop at the gas station and get a coffee all the time. I do not go to Starbucks every day and get a drink. That doesn't mean I don't have them sometimes. That is definitely not a part of my daily budget. Um, I try to make things like find Starbucks gift cards and a discount so that I can have it occasionally or I buy a less expensive drink when I'm at Starbucks than the super fancy peppermint mocha venti. That's what I get. <laughs> okay, number four, I have temporarily stopped my kids' activities, so gymnastics. That was um, not only taking up a big sum of money that is currently being funneled towards Disney, um, and it's not that, oh, I want to go to Disney and I finally my kids out of this. It was also because it was too much of a life and time investment to go to gymnastics for two hours, two nights a week and go to school and all these things. It just was too much. Once we're back to homeschooling again, we will definitely pick up that activity. But I was, you know, kind of glad that I was able to funnel that money towards something else. Not that activities aren't important, but sometimes you got a budget. Can you go with a lesser activity, do something else, or maybe just take a break for a little while and put that money towards your debt or dreams or whatever. All right, and the number five thing is we've given up some monthly subscriptions. As I mentioned, when we got rid of the DirecTV because we got the high-speed internet, we did pick up Netflix and Hulu. Um, there are still TV shows that we enjoy watching um, and you know, even if we were to get like bunny ears or something, we're not often available to watch those shows when they are right on TV. And so this kind of gives us that DVR type feel um, without actually having um, a DVR. 
but we don't do Sirius XM anymore. We don't subscribe to any, um, not even YouTube Red or any um, other monthly fee subscriptions because we want to funnel that money into something else. So here are the five things that I don't give up. <laughs> even though some of my dues are a little fudgy, I for sure do not give up paleo and gluten-free diet. Those things can be expensive, um, but what I try to do is stick to whole foods kinds of things, um, basic type stuff. I don't get a lot of super duper fancy things, and I always try to use um, coupons and sales to maximize my savings on those items, and, but I will not budge on that for health reasons, so that is something I do not give up. Um, iPhones. I talk sometimes about wanting to get rid of my iPhone because I feel like I spend too much time on it. I think we all kind of struggle with that. Um, but we just had a big tornado come through here and I was so thankful that I got those messages and alerts on my phone and was able to get myself and my family to safety. Um, and so I, I was very thankful and in that moment I said, whew, maybe I shouldn't get rid of my iPhone. So we're going to see, but definitely right now, that's not something that we are giving up iPhones. Number three, <laughs> this might be silly, but I think if you're a mom, you'll understand paper plates. I learned this from a mom um, in Korea who was a homeschooling mom. And I just remember asking her, how do you do it? How do you do all these things? And one of the things she said was, I use paper plates for at least one meal a day. And you know, it's maybe not, I try to use like real paper plates and not styrofoam plates so that they're biodegradable and I can feel a little bit about her about that. But I buy a huge big <laughs> stack of plates from Sam's Club usually once a month. And that helps me a lot to have either breakfast on plates or lunch and sometimes even dinner, you know, usually at least one meal a day is on paper plates and that saves me my sanity and I'm glad for that. The number four thing I don't give up is eating out. Now, we don't eat out near as often as we did in the past, but um, if I can get a coupon, especially if I have free kids meals and I'm saving that money for something else, we do occasionally still eat out. Now, back to that paleo gluten-free, because where we usually eat out is now like a steakhouse. <laughs> There's no McDonald's and Burger King in my future. It's a lot of Chipotle, Applebee's, Chili's, Texas Roadhouse. Um, so because of that, we don't do it very much, but we do do it occasionally. And the number five thing I don't give up is Disney. Um, I've not been a person who saves for Disney all of the time, but man, saving for this trip and seeing how I'm actually able to save for several trips in one year shows me that this is something that we'll be able to continue to do and I want to continue to um, save and maybe not necessarily for Disney, but for other family vacations in the future, I will make sure that that is in our budget. So thank you so much, Freedom in a Budget, for having this tag and for tagging anybody who is watching. I'm excited to share this with everybody and also Pandemonium for creating this tag. So now let's talk about what you guys want to know and that's how much money did I save this week? Um, previously, you know, I had an $80 Target gift card balance. I cashed in my shop kicks for $45 at $25 and two $10 cards. And I purchased a 100 and well, a $100 card and a $25 Disney gift cards from Target. There, um, might be some changes coming to how Target handles their gift card purchases, especially online. Um, you can still use Target gift cards in store to purchase Disney and other third party gift cards, but online they're kind of halting that. Um, they didn't really like people getting the extra 5%. This might be temporary. There have been glitches in the past. We shall see, but you can still use them in store, um, for now at least. And hopefully that continues to be something that they do. Uh, but so I cashed in for those. Then I had $1.75 in a Speedway drink. I had earned $17 in Imperk rewards and cashed those in with my grocery shopping this week. They also had, again, $5 off a $50 Meyer gift card purchase. And so I purchased three more of those, saving $15. And um, speaking of Starbucks, there was another um, Visa checkout offer for if you purchased $10 in Visa, um, excuse me, Starbucks gift cards using Visa checkout, they would send the person that you send it to a $15 gift card instead of just 10. So of course I just 
sent it to an alternative email that I had and I saved the extra five dollars in the past I've actually gotten 20 for ten dollars and that was a 50% savings which was awesome um, but this time just five fifteen for ten so this week I saved eighty three dollars and seventy five cents more to the fun so that's so super exciting um, I also this week went to uh, Indie Disney meetup and I got to see the Lemon Sisters we're so silly and we didn't remember to take a picture of each other um, but I did kind of accidentally make a cameo <laughs> in their video when they post that I'll link it here too um, and there were some other really cool people there it was really neat they've been doing it for nine years and I had no idea so I'll definitely be going to that again next year and I uh, just had a really really good time and I'm so thankful that the tornadoes did not affect myself or my family or anybody um, that I'm close with one of my instructors um, did lose her home and as a student in my class had some damage to her home but there were no deaths and there were very few um, injuries minimal in which that was such a blessing and I'm so thankful to the Lord that he protected our town during that time and I pray for the families who have um, lost property in that time that they will be restored to something even better so thank you guys so much for watching I'm gonna have another collab coming up later on today uh, it will be a week-long collab just like before this one's about Disney magical moments. I'm really excited to share my story with you. I hope you will watch that and all of the other collaborators and um, share your Disney magical moment with us. So until then, I'll see you real soon.